Hi, YouTubers. I just want to continue the discussion that we had last season when I cleaned the engine out, uh, the intake uh, uh, valves with the uh, CRC product. Uh, I, one of the things that really intrigued me was the idea of preventive maintenance rather than uh, cleaning, which is, uh, which is after the, uh, the process has uh, occurred. And, and in that regard, uh, there's a lot of information on oil catch cans that you can read on, on the internet. Uh, and particularly the one that I've decided to use for this application, which is, again, the Hyundai 2016 GDI engine, uh, Hyundai Santa Fe, is the uh, Mishimoto catch can. You can do a lot of uh, reading on their website. They have a wonderful website. Look them up, and uh, you'll get all of the engineering information and, and why they're such a quality product. Let me tell you what I uh, decided to do here. Um, before we start, we need to uh, talk about cer certain tools that we're going to need in order to do the job. In this case... Uh, because of the way I position where I'm going to mount the product, I just uh, we're going to need a drill, we're going to need a quarter-inch uh, nut driver, some tape, pliers, um, some some hose uh, uh, connectors or some some sorry some uh, hose clamps, and then I decided to replace the uh, the product that came with the with the uh, oil catch can, um, which is to use this uh, this brass uh, three eighth inch by three eighth uh, MIP. Um, adapter, and uh, in addition, you're going to you're going to need a, a, a three eighth inch ID uh, quality hose. Um, I all this has been picked up uh, off off of Amazon, incidentally. Um, the the hose is very important that you need to make sure that you get the good quality uh, rated hose so that you don't uh, leak in, in the future. And I'm going to need a uh, something to cut the uh, cut the hose itself. Let me show you the. You've seen, you're going to see unboxings of this product on the internet, but for now, the main things that you have to look at is going to be, uh, it's going to be this. You notice the product itself is a, is a high quality aluminum product, it's, and it comes inside with all of the the connectors that you need. And two things that I wanted to show you that are really important. Are two mounting screws, self-tapping mounting screws. These are going to be critical because this is what I'm going to use to mount the um, the oil catch can for this application. So, in terms of the placement of the part part itself, uh, let me remove the uh, engine cover, and you'll notice that in this particular engine, which again is a 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe 2.4 liter GDI engine. Um, there, there's some, there some a limitation in terms of clearances and so forth. Okay. Typically, where we'd like to install this is where, somewhere we have enough clearances. For this application, it has to be, I think, right here because it's near the positive uh, crankcase ventilation valve, which is located right here. And the way uh, coil catch cans are typically set up is that you want to feed in the uh, outlet um, into the oil catch can so that it does catch the oil. And then the outlet goes right back into where you had disconnected. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. So let me go ahead and tell you. Well, let me go ahead and install the unit. And I install it by taking off these mounting screws, which I had previously loosened. And they're mounted in a in a little rectangular depression underneath that ridge that I showed you as as part of this uh, this um, this this part of the engine. In here, you can actually what you'll do is that you'll you'll drill two holes using a seven, I believe it's a seven sixty four. Yeah, it's a seven sixty four drill drill bit is what I used. Because that actually sets up the hole very nicely. So I'm not going to go through the drilling process. I've already done that. For illustration purposes, basically you just position the unit. You use one of the holes as a guide, and you drill right through it. And, you, and it's fa fairly easy. Nothing, not, nothing too complicated. Let me go ahead and mount this. So I'm actually mounting the bracket now. They came with the uh, Mishimoto using, a, again, a quarter-inch nut driver for the self-tapping screws. I've already drilled the holes and I'm just positioning them in. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so we're back to, after having installed the bracket, what I want to show you is that I decided to discard the plastic uh, units that came with the, uh, with the original part, not because they're of lesser quality, primarily because the uh, connection itself, as you take it off, you notice that it's 3 8 inch uh, inside diameter. So um, you really need a barb that will actually fit the 3 8 inch diameter. And the, uh, the Mishimoto's are half inch. Really doesn't, really don't work. So let's go ahead and, and uh, assemble the unit back together again. And what I'll do is that I'll thread the new units on with some tape. Okay, one of the things that I uh, neglected to mention is that I am going to tighten it down with a wrench. I'm not going to over tighten it. Uh, brass on aluminum. So you want to be careful. You want to snug them down, not over tighten them. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and take a length of hose. Actually, I'm going to mount the unit. And it's fairly easy. This actually rotates depending on what angle you want to get the want to get the, uh, the hoses to line up on. There is an intake and an out and, an, and, a, uh, and an out port on the unit itself. Okay, so now we're going to, after, after we've installed the unit, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, hose off of the, uh, the valve and hook it up to the in inlet of the unit which is on the left side and the unit is marked so there's no way of getting that wrong actually let's take this off slide off it should slide off pretty easily and we'll luckily enough because of the dimensions are are well I can just slide it right on and just reattach it with the original factory clamp nice thing about this system is that if I had to return it back to factory spec I can just take it off in about five minutes with uh, no difference. I've, I've already pre-cut a piece of the 3 8 inch pipe or the uh, the uh, the high quality hose that I have fuel and emissions. This one's made by Continental. Again this is all accessible on Amazon and uh, I'm just going to go ahead using the quarter inch clips this side we do the same And if you notice, that's it. It's done. Let's put the, co the uh, cover on and see how it routes. And it turns out that the hose actually has a notch here for routing. So the application itself is fairly easy. And uh, that's it. I'll check in in about a thousand miles. They say you know, they recommend you look at it every 500 to a thousand miles. Uh, apparently, there's a lot of gunk that accumulates. And I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks very much for watching.